Today I want to talk about a couple simple, cheap way you can advertise your artwork to get more sales. Creative Life with Aurora B. I'm Aurora B. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're coming back, welcome back. On this channel, I talk about my life as an artist, what's worked for me, what hasn't, including the often taboo subject of making money from your art. These are really nice flowers, huh? So yesterday I went to the zoo with my friend and her daughter and they were nice enough to bring me some flowers to celebrate being a new mom. I know it's been five months, but I am still celebrating. You know, I do like to recycle. So these flowers went in a Barilla roasted garlic jar that I had just actually washed out to put in the recycling bin and I thought, how perfect i love the smell of flowers i don't know about you anyway in this vein of you know being cheap and working with what you've got i'm going to talk about some different ways that you can do that to advertise your art to put it on social media to get some more sales uh, these are basically we're going to talk about three different ways the first way is to get samples of your product. So here we go. Here's some cute samples. And yes, I have modeled these on my daughter and then gotten some photographs of them and put them online. So I got these on a website called HugePod, H-U-G-E-P-O-D.com. So here we go. Here is the huge pod site. Now I have found lots of weird technical glitches with this site. And therefore I would not necessarily recommend using this shop as a drop shipping service to sell your products. I think um, they've had some delays in their printing and some other things, as well as having some technical glitches that would make me wary at least to, you know, have my name relying on their customer service. So here we go, here's the site and you can go and click design now. And here you see that they have different products. Their latest are these hoodies. They even have some kid and youth clothing, and I'll show you in a minute um, some of the onesies that I did for my daughter, and that was that was really exciting for me. Oh, here here's some blank onesies, and as you'll see, what's I think really exciting about this particular site is the low prices. So here you can see eight ninety six, seven dollars for the one with the sleeves. You know, these prices are really reasonable. You want to do a bib, it's $3.95, right? So in my mind, this is quite a bit cheaper than some of the other sites that I see. So for me, this site is really good for just getting a sample and then going out and taking photographs of it. I'm just going to, let's see, design library. And here I opened up one of my past orders. I didn't want to be showing you my email and password on the screen. So I just opened it up already. And you see that um, I recently ordered some body suits for my daughter and one tank top in some prints I was designing. I actually, after testing out these prints, changed the colors and not because of the way they tested, but because I was trying to make all my colorways go together. Um, and because this took so long to get printed, you know, maybe these were a little bit out of date. So that is a downside, but as I said, I think I got some real value for money and it meant that I didn't have to sew because I know a lot of people, especially in the surface pattern design industry, they will actually get 
their patterns printed out, let's say on spoon flower, and then they actually sew the products to then take pictures of and show in their portfolio. And here, if you're like me and you don't actually want to sit at least at the moment and sew clothes or you don't have time for it, I would like to get better at it, but maybe right now it's not the best time with my young daughter. This is a really easy option. I was about to say fast, but what I will say is after doing the complete order, they did contact me and they said, sorry that they were having problems with the printer and they offered to cancel, which is really nice. Uh, I didn't want to cancel, but I had to wait, I think about a month for these. So if you are in a rush, this might not be the best site to use, but it's good to keep in mind. So as you see, I was able to put my designs on these and get a matching bodysuit and a matching tank top for me so that in one of our pictures, we were able to have the same outfit on, which was nice. And this is actually a gift for a friend. So if she's watching, she might. I might have spoiled the surprise. So there you go. There, there is a huge pod. There are other sites like this. There is also, of course, uh, Printify and I think Printful that will let you do samples of your work. But I think there is a limit on how many samples you can get per month. Um, as far as I know, on Huge Pod, there was no limit. And and as you can see, there's just quite a range of products here. Those are just the clothes I'm showing. There are also different kind of home goods like towels. And as you see, again, like 652, that's a lot less than if you're going to order some of your stuff off of Redbubble or Society6, which I have done as well. So here is Huge Pod. And this is uh, something that, as I said, I would recommend for you, but probably only for your own personal use or if you have time and you're actually going to sell things in person or later be the person to ship out your stuff on Etsy, then go ahead, you know, stock up on what you need and then list it for sale when you know you have the inventory. Okay, so once you've gotten your cute clothes off of Huge Pot, now you need to get photographs of them, right? You need to get photographs of them so you can put them up online, so you can uh, put them as part of your for portfolio, put them on your website. You can also just go dance around in the clothes you've made and people might notice them. But yeah, you need to get them on. So I'm going to share the one website that I go through to get some really great professional photographs. Well, one service that I, I found when actually I was in the process of adoption and I needed to make a profile book was this shoot.com, S-H-O-O-T-T.com. Um, I am absolutely not sponsored by them, but I really, I have found their services work super well. I think they advertise themselves as something like the Uber of photography. I'm pretty sure they are minority and women owned. So really great company to support. And also it supports other artists. It supports photographers. Basically how this site works is that you can book a, I can take this down. You can book a photo shoot with a photographer and it is absolutely free. And in those 30 minutes you have with the photographer, they're going to take at least 40 photographs of you, I believe is the minimum number at the moment. And then in about three to five days, you get um, a link to all of the photographs and you can just buy one at a time for I think 15 to $20, or you can buy your full gallery. And there's always different kind of package deals as you see here. Um, so yeah, you go through it and you do have to choose from, unless you want to pay more, you need to choose from the calendar of available days for your 30 minute slot. So that photographer, they'll be doing, you know, back to back slots, not just yours. And they'll be in really popular places. So here in San Diego, there's some on the beach, some in Old Town and some in Balboa Park. I've done all of mine in Balboa Park because it's convenient for me to get to from my house. And there's totally different settings you can be in. It's like the Grand Central Park of San Diego. So this is a really good way to get some images done. And as they, pay, as they say, pay only for the photos you love. So if 
not many of your photos work out, you don't have to pay for them. If none of them work out, I don't think you have to pay anything. So here, yeah, upcoming things, you could choose Oceanside Pier, and then you just see the dates that they're available and you can make an appointment. 30 free 30 minute personal photo shoot. I've used them as an excuse to make some photographs for my portfolio and social media, but that also double as um, just nice family portraits of my daughter and I. So I really recommend this. Of course, if you're super at taking selfies and you have a good camera or you have a friend that can help you, that's absolutely free as well. But I find that a professional photographer, if you're not one, really makes a world of difference. They know what they're doing. They have the best equipment and this is super, you know, affordable prices. Yeah. If you purchase 10 photos, it's just $15 per photo. A full gallery can be about $2.95, but you can often find coupons. You can even buy a number of full galleries in advance. So if you know you're going to, let's say every quarter be proofing your designs, you could order some full galleries in advance and then just every quarter you can proof your designs you can wear them have friends wear them have those shots and then for the next quarter you'll be able to use those on your social media and you'll be able to put them in your portfolio another way that's been recommended to me to get some really great mock-ups of your products on your artwork on products is to use a site called Place It or One Like It. I don't want to spend too much time on Place It because it's not actually a site that I've used. However, it is a site that I've had recommended to me uh, on a couple different courses I took. So I thought it was important to share with you as one option for something that you might want to use whether you are looking for images to place your artwork up on sites like Pinterest or share on your own personal social media, or as well, if you want to put something into your portfolio. So here we go, we're on Place It. Uh, as you can see over here, there's a section for mock-ups. So this is what you want. You want to get mock-ups where you can place your artwork. I'm just going to go here and have a look because fall has just started at the time of recording and press here. And here we go. Here are some different fall or autumn for my UK friends uh, images that you can use. So you see this beaver just appear, artwork here. And so you don't really have to be an expert at Photoshop or Illustrator or be super savvy to be able to use these. Now, Playset is a paid service. I think I remember that the subscriptions were possibly under $8 a month at this time. Uh, I see that there is an option for a free account if you want. I'm not sure if any uh, images come with the free account, you can check that out. The last way I want to share is quite a simple way. If you are already uploading your artwork onto websites like Redbubble, Society6, I know there's tons of other ones, T Public. I'm not gonna name them all right now. We can do another episode on that later. If you're already uploading to these sites, most of these sites have features in them where they will already have placed your artwork on mockups. This is how they make the sales, right? They haven't actually gone and in the moment you upload everything, they haven't gone and produced all those products and taken a photograph of them and put them online, right? You see the, photo you see the photographs online for what they're selling. So those are mockups like Place It. So here we are right in Redbubble. I am assuming most of you know what Redbubble is. If you don't, this is a print on demand site where you can put your art onto different project, products, excuse me. So here we are inside the site. I got to it through the manage portfolio link, which is right up here. And you can press on the settings button and you can go to promote products. And this is going to take you here to all the different products where you have your design. As you can see, they've added a lot of new things, a lot of new things lately. If you haven't been on your site for a while, including a lot of stuff for pets. So 
let's just say I wanted to have this football season pattern on this shirt and promote it this way. What I can do is press these three buttons and then I can either copy the link, view the product page, or I can just download images. Now, when you press downloads, load images, it's going to take you to these options and you can choose to download whatever images are convenient for you. So I think this is really great. It's obviously free. You don't need to go and have a place at account or anything. What I will say, of course, is that anyone's familiar with Redbubble, you see the same exact couple of models a lot. Um, and if you're selling the same sorts of products, and you're getting the same product placements. For example, I know the shower curtain, maybe there's like uh, two or three different setups. So you're going to have a lot of images that look pretty much exactly the same, but still it's a really good, easy way that you don't have to do much work and you can just go download an image or share a link. So that's Redbubble. Okay, now here we are on Society6. This, like Redbubble, is another popular print-on-demand service. Those two are certainly not the only ones, but they are very popular. Now, I am not the biggest fan of the Society6 platform. I think Redbubble's is so much easier to use. As you see, I don't have a lot of collections in this area, and that's because when I've tried to add things to my collections, I keep getting glitches. You can see I've been able to do it for a few designs, but then right the minute after when I try to do it for another, I've had some issues and tried to restart things. So not my favorite site, but I've decided for now, it still is worth it to keep uploading my designs on Society6. I'm slightly further behind than uh, I am for my red bubble. So here we're going to go in here. You're going to press this. I think it looks like an alien face. And you're going to go to manage my posts. And then here are all of the designs. And you can tell I upload the first one in something in a really large file format. So you can barely see it. I'm working on going back and putting all of my designs set to art prints so that my shop looks more consistent and the same for my red bubble but I just haven't done it yet so let's let's choose this one okay leopard has spots okay I don't want to immediately share so you go and you click on the design okay so here we are inside the artist studio on the design that I want to promote as you see these I still haven't done an art print size, so I don't actually want to promote those yet. Uh, and I need to go back and change them. I will just take these off for now so that they are not shown like that. But let's say, okay, throw pillow. Here we go. So we have this, this pattern design. Uh, a leopard pattern. This one is in a light blue and orange colorway. And if we want to promote the product, it is similar to what you can do on Redbubble. We can just here press this button to share, and then you can copy the link and, and you can place this online. You can also do save image as. Uh, as I said, this site really, it doesn't work as nicely as Redbubble sites. And I often find glitches. It also is extremely slow to upload. I found some of my designs, if I want to really place them nicely on all of the products, I can spend an hour per design, which is really a lot of time that I could be spending designing other things. Uh, but in the end, we all have to choose whether to have our things on as many different sites as possible or just one or two. And since I've already spent a lot of time uploading things on Society6 for now, I'm I'm still going with it. I still make some sales on the site. So for me, for now, it's still worth it, but you'll just have to choose for you. So there you go. There's one way you can just um, click to advertise your stuff by either sharing it directly or saving it and then uploading that image to one of the sites. And of course, you could just take these, these images and also put them in your portfolio. So what is the best way 
What do I recommend? Well, we covered the three different options, right? We want to go through them. First is to use a website like Placeit to do your own mockups. The second option is to go to a place like HugePod and get samples of your work or sew your own and then use a service like Shoot to actually model and get photographs of them. And then the third way is just to use the images on Redbubble, Society6, those websites and advertise them directly. Well, except for Placeit, I have actually used the other two methods quite frequently. And honestly, I should start using a, web a website like Placeit because the downside of using the images from Redbubble, Society6 and others is they are pretty generic. Now the plus side is it's free and super easy, right? You just download it. So when I have no time, I would rather do that and actually show people what my image, what my pattern looks like on a backpack or a t-shirt, then just share the pattern itself, right? We wanna give people an idea of what it can look at, look like on something. So I think the absolute best way if you have time is to use something like Huge Pod or if you're really crafty to sew your own and to get your own pictures. Now, there's a chance that these won't look quite as sophisticated as the mock-ups on Placeit, but I really think you can tell the difference. And what's more important is when you do something like printing out, uh, printing out your artwork and sharing it on you specifically or on your kid, you can really make a personal connection with your audience, right? So people do, the, your friends and family, they want to see pictures of you. If you have a good following and engagement, they want to see pictures of you, right? So I think that's the best way. Now, there are ways you can even use Photoshop. You could take pictures of yourself in a white t-shirt and make your own mock-ups and that would be another step beyond, but that is not the quick and easy route. And today we're talking about quick and easy, right? And who has time for that? But if you do, go ahead and do that. So after I filmed this episode, I thought it was really a shame that I actually hadn't worn one of the samples that I had created. So I just decided to jump on here and show you. This one I actually ordered off of Society6 at full price. So, you know, as sometimes we like to save money, sometimes going full price is fine, especially if you like your work. I really hope this helped you today and thank you for joining. If this was helpful at all, please, I invite you to subscribe or at least press the like button. If you didn't like it, give me that good old thumbs down and tell me why. What's worked for you? What hasn't? I would love to hear about it. Until next time, keep creating.